Hey everyone, it is Kat. I'm Kat Colors across all social media platforms. Today we're gonna to be doing a tutorial over this messy, tousled, effortless, blown out look. This is my model Maggie, and we just did her color using all shorts cuff color, of course. And the tutorial that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys today is gonna to be perfect for not only behind the chair, but if you do a lot of special event styling to give your clients hair body and bounce. One of the most common things that I see happen when I'm working special occasions is clients come in with their hair not prepped the way that I need to really hold a style. So I always bring a water bottle with me to just lightly dampen the hair. This allows me to go in with some of my favorite products like Grip from Osis and Shorts Cuff and I can go in and really prep the hair to set myself up for success with this style. This is gonna give me a nice whipped foamy texture that I can spread evenly throughout the hair to give the hair more volume and lift. This is going to be especially great for clients like Maggie whose hair just really doesn't like to hold a style. It's gonna give us that perfect amount of control. And then I love to pair it with Upload from Osis as well. This is gonna give us tons of volume and body as you can see in that after from the very first clip. It's gonna give us that perfect amount of bounce giving her that blown out look. The next step that I'm gonna take is what I like to call air drying. So I'm using a nozzle on my blow dryer and I'm gonna point it down the hair shaft making sure that we're polishing each and every cuticle layer while I'm going through this first blow dry. Before I grab my round brush, which I'm gonna be blow drying more off base because we're not looking for a whole bunch of extra body up top, but more so a lot of movement around the length of her hair and around her face. The reason for my choice of cocktail products for Maggie's hair is I want to give her hair the perfect amount of grip and grab to hold the shape of a curling iron. I do that also by making sure the section isn't any wider than the Velcro rollers I'm using to hold her hair. This will help make sure that I'm evenly distributing the heat and cooling the hair through the entire process of this technique. This whole first video, which will be part one that I'm creating right now, is really all about prepping the hair and making sure I'm setting myself up for success. Even little things like making sure my sections are nice and clean. That way, when I go to curl the hair, everything is really clean and sectioned well. This is gonna be not only great for working, but when you're working behind the chair and people are taking photos while they're getting their makeup done, it really just complements when everything looks nice and polished. Stay tuned for part two where I'm gonna be going through the curling process to get this beautiful finished look. 